Hey narrator, recently I've been reading Dogs in a Vineyard. Not long ago I ran Misspent Youth, and today I have a question for you. When you play a game, do you play by the rules? For role playing games, most players usually don't. Changing, adding, or ignoring rules is very common. I would guess that most people would say they want to tailor their game to their group. They want to get the feel of the system right and to do away with the rules that don't seem to fit. Many game designers know the players do this and encourage it. A perfect example is Kobolds Ate My Baby. It states directly, if you want to change the rules, go ahead. It's your game, you bought it. Ironically, Kobolds Ate My Baby hasn't done a print run since 2005. So if you want to buy a copy, you have to look for a used one. Seriously guys, how about a PDF? This is not universal though. To quote Luke Crane, the creator of Burning Wheel, just in case anyone was unclear, that's exactly what I'm saying. No arbitrary changing of the rules during play. Not by anyone, player or GM. The GM does not get some special privilege. He is not wiser or better equipped for arbitration than the other players. Wow, narrator. You can almost feel people getting riled up over that one. My personal opinion is that the first time you play a game, you should play by the rules. And I have a few reasons for this. First of all, most of us, including myself, are not game designers. Sure, we've been playing for years, we have an understanding of the people at the table with us, and we might even know what we want out of the game. But years of driving a car does not make me a mechanic. I also tend to assume the game's been play-tested, so the rules in the book have proven themselves. And finally, do we as players know how a rules change will affect the game? I mean, we all know the Monopoly example. Okay, maybe some people don't. Here's a short form. Almost nobody seems to like Monopoly because it never ends. But when I ask people what happens when you land on free parking, they usually mention a monetary reward, often a large one. But what do the rules state? According to the rules, when you land on free parking, nothing happens. But people tend to find this idea boring. They want something for free, so how about money? Well, it's an attrition game. The only way one person can win is if everybody else loses. By running out of money. Are you starting to see the problem here? By putting money back into the economy, the game could, theoretically, never end. One minor change to a single square and the game is unplayable. At least to me. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't ever change rules. You just shouldn't do it thoughtlessly. Ask yourself, why does this rule exist? Why am I changing it? Sometimes the rules would be connected. Take a look at my life with Master. A stat will work with you in one role, against you in another role, and determine your final outcome of the game. I'd be very careful with making changes to that system. It might seem innocuous, like changing perfect information to imperfect information, but even that can affect the game in ways that you might not realize. Have you affected the freedom of the players or the GM? How about the advancement or reward system? Basically, what emergent behaviors are going to result from this change? Narrator, you might have house rules that you and your friends are happy with. That's fine. Neither I nor the game designers are going to show up to your house and tell you how to play. As always, I just want you to think about it. For my part, if a system isn't doing what I want it to, I'm going to find one that does. Narrator, I look forward to hearing from you.